happened. He something looked, happened. His, the other two walked around it. backwards. They didn't want to play with it. Backwards and covered him up. But when he cursed Ham, what what happened? He said, curse his Ham and, and his land, whatever. Yeah, gave him their plots of land. Ham's land is Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. That's where Ham got his his land was. And what took over Sodom and Gomorrah? Right. Homosexuality. And, and not only that, all these things happened. About it. So that was their that was their their captivity. They were captive to that and in he, that city. He said it would be forever. because of Noah's compromise. Right. So because us as leaders and believers and teachers and everything that we believe that we are, the more that we become relaxed on our own success and our own laurels and we start to sit back and think everything, man, this is whatever, we're opening the door for the next generation to walk into something that's going to hold them captive because we're willing to compromise on certain things like the love, like all these things that we get back on, draw back from, that's, that's the whole that's the whole Noah time right there. Like in a nutshell, like where we're at, I really feel like we're sitting in that place right now. Well, there, there was an exaggeration that we, I think we kind of bought into. Like like I said, we thought it was going to be zombies and no, that's the apocalypse. <laughs> we didn't know it was going to be, right, uh, right. you know, a, apocalypse mentally, an apocalypse right. emotionally, right. an apocalypse in our relationships, because that's everything that makes us human. In, right. in Romans chapter 1, which is still, to me, which is still very much in there with 2 Timothy chapter 3, Matthew 24, and even when he talks about with, with the days of Noah, is in Romans chapter 1, he started talking about how people are going to start doing stuff about the birds, you know, and start worshiping it. And he says, you know, I'm not ashamed. That's the character. Yeah, so, right so, so you don't talk about the bird, right? Like, because it's, 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 that's, 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 that ties it into this generation right now, right? Right. The generation we're living in right now is full and rampant and accepting of what? Homosexuality. Right. According to Romans, Romans 1, one, Romans one, Romans one body. homosexuality is actually not a sin. It is actually a curse. It is a result of God leaving his hands off of people because of their idolatry. Mm -hmm. Right. Worshipping them worshiping something that's like them, self. They would create gods if I'm one eyed, I'm gonna create a one eyed God so I don't feel bad worshiping a one eyed God. They created something that was like themselves. Same worship. Not making fun of it, uh, uh, but it, it was a homo worship. Same worship. Right. It was worship of something to say. That's idolatry, it's all it was. So because of the idolatry, God said, I'm going to leave you to yourself. You give it over, it's a reprobate mind. Oh, somebody has a question, let me see it. Hey, say my name. Let me see it. Say my name. Why? I don't get it. Uh, no, by the way, girl with the SCP shirt. Oh, the girl with the SCP shirt is hot. Hey! <laughs> 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 Wait a second. Hey, this you gay. Is, is, that, is that he talking about your last name or is he saying that we're gay? Hey, my last name's gay. Yeah. Like, yeah. Jack? Are you a hater to gay? Curtis B. Y'all no, know Curtis B. Because I just said your mama to Curtis B. I don't want to be a friend. Right. Sounds like your mama. <laughs> like, wow. Like, that has nothing to do with hating anything we're saying. It has everything to do with the right perspective so we can love properly. Yeah. I mean, no. I, it's, not, it, it's not that. What, so. The church has fought so hard to fight against the homosexual thing, saying, you're not born that way, you chose it, you chose it. Lies. You were born that way. I was born that way, we all were born with the propensity to do any type of sin. We were we were born into sin and shaping in what? See, iniquity right, is a thing that we're talking about now. We're going to get to the heart of the issue. I'm, so, I, I'm jumping, but it said he was wounded for our transgressions, right? But bruised for our what? Iniquities. Iniquities are the things that are underneath so the surface on, on. that we, we don't see them until they're tapped, until they're hit. Then blood comes to the surface. It's a bruise. He was, he was bruised for the iniquity. The iniquity is the why. The sin happened because of an iniquity. There's something internal with people that, that we don't know. That's the why. That's what we're supposed to pursue. I need to know the iniquity. I need to know the why. Exactly. If I can deal with your why, the sins will disappear. Exactly. But we get so Sorry. mad dealing with everybody else's sins when we when we don't address the iniquity. Jesus had compassion with people because he addressed iniquities. He wants to get he got deeper than the sin. He he looked past everything else and found out I mean, why. Realistically, and it, go ahead. You got it. Oh, I was just about saying that's the problem with I think with our generation of, of Christianity is that we deal with sins, but we yes, don't really sir. deal with iniquities. Yes, right. we, don't, we don't even get to know a person, you know, before no. we start, you know, teaching no. and preaching and stuff. We still have to be personal. Oh, okay, oh. Or, 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 he, he wants to know why, okay, um, he says, no, I'm saying, why do you think gay is a curse? It's not, being gay is a curse, it's not. 
being gay is not cursed. The homosexuality itself, like, you're not a cursed person. It is a curse that, that has happened to a generation. I'm not saying that. The iniquity isn't being gay. The, the, the iniquity, the, the, yeah. gay, the gay is, is it could be, it could be, and many, many, many people say some were born this way, but I have talked to, I have, I have a few gay friends, I have a few, and they, you know, they tell me, Yes, something happened to me when I was a child. That yeah. changed my whole perspective. So they weren't just born young. this way. Now I don't. I mean, they yes, they are homosexual. Yes, they are gay. But that's not that's not what I speak to them. On. I don't speak to them on being. Gay. Right, right, right. I right. speak to them on the other issues that they deal with. Right. Because I can't I can't cure I can't cure the sin. I can't cure the result. But I can help the inside of you. And if if it takes block by block like a domino. Then some, it's, it might take that long but to gay, cure what's inside. But homosexuality is no different than lust. It's no different it's than no lust, different than lying, lying, lying murdering, all stealing, of those things are, 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 So it's not like you're it's it's a curse magnifying of homosexuality. It's a reprobate mind. That's all the same. It all fits in the yeah, same category. It's, and, and it's not one thing, that, but I isolated it because we were talking about. Right. Uh, well, the, the, the other thing is that uh, I do know this that he says, hold on. He says, uh, as, as, as a Canadian, we allow gay people to be themselves. Uh, we don't think it occurs. We believe that uh, we believe sin that U.S. this <laughs> was it disappear in the Bible because it caused so much hate. It, it cost so much hate. Yeah, you could write a little better. You can do that. But uh, here's the thing. Okay, Here, here's the thing. Is that uh, the first of all, everyone's got to stop being so sensitive. If we're going to have a conversation, let's have the conversation. Right. All right. Uh, because we're talking about reality. You know what I mean? And if you're going to be like, that's the thing, don't be gay about it. Don't be sensitive. Don't be over sensitive, seriously, dude. Because, don't, yeah, don't, 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 yeah, right. Don't be over sensitive. Don't be over sensitive. Let me tell you why. Because it's worth an intelligent conversation. And I think these are, the, 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 I think Christians and the homosexual community spend so much time coming at each other that they never actually talk about it. Like you say that the Bible caused a bunch of hate. No, mis people misinterpreting the Bible causes hate. Right. People abusing the Bible causes right, hate. Right, right. And then people, but like, kind of like what you do, go off and repeat it like what you're doing. You know, you're repeating that the Bible causes hate. That causes hate. It doesn't cause hate. It actually causes conviction. And people hate conviction. So right. then they translate it to the Christians in the Bible cause that hate. Like, no, I told you the truth and what was in here and that convicted you. Right. I didn't do that to you. But how we express it well, yeah. can cause hate. Because sometimes we don't express it the right way. And, and one one thing that that I think the body has kind of lost, the body of Christ has lost, that used to be uh, prevalent back in the day, and actually it was too prevalent, was the use of theologians. Theologians back in the day, they helped frame, you know, the Trinity, the oneness, etc. and so forth. That's how we got those notions. But today, we don't even theologian. Like what theologian? <laughs> right, right. You no, know, it's it's your it's your preacher, That's it's your true. pastor. It's not the one who says, okay, I'm gonna specifically study everything of homosexuality in the Bible, and I'm gonna come up with this notion of how we should look at it, and then we're all gonna discuss it, right. just like they did with the Trinity. The Trinity wasn't always a popular thing. Right. It used to be a very a very right. iffy topic. How can you explain this? And then when you talk about um, uh, whether whether the word of God should be spread to the Gentiles. There were a lot of Christian Hebrews that said no. But then they looked at the scriptures again and what, and what Jesus taught and said, well, maybe we might have gotten this wrong. So I think that's something that we need to start doing more too, well, is actually know, dive right. into the word in the, from an academic perspective and coming up with these notions for the entire body of Christ. And I think what he said is exactly why I said and pointed out that it was a curse more so than a sin when we deal with homosexuality. Okay. Because because sin is an act. Sin is something that you do and you you do you miss the mark. Homosexuality is something that's inside somebody that is that is given to them. Generational curses, generational blessings. These things are in people. And and the same act can happen to me that happened to your friend. Right, right, right. But I didn't lean towards homosexuality. I might have leaned just toward towards lust and started having sex at six years old, which right, I did. Right, right, right. Most that's up. what it drove Most me up. to. Most it drove somebody else to something because that was in their bloodline. That's what I'm saying. The iniquity caused them to respond one way. The iniquity in my family caused me to respond another way. So if I can see it like that and stop preaching like homosexuality is a sin or a behavioral problem, right. that they can line up and just just stop being gay when you come into church. Right. 
that's improper. That's the wrong way to do it. If right. I see it as something that is that is iniquity, which is which is un underneath the surface, then I can love you differently than me just trying to smack you in the face and saying it's some yeah. behavior you and, chose. And, stop, stop. And, and, and iniquity, iniquity is hurt and pain. It's not a Canada U.S. thing. Right. <laughs> you yeah. know, this is this is uh, yeah, in, a, right. in a personal yeah. thing. But, but seriously, I, I do. Gotta, I want to say this because realistically, uh, I, I've seen homosexuals and Christian Christians do the exact right. same thing to each other, and that's right. not listen, not communicate well, right. uh, poorly do any research on anything, and just assume and take everybody's word for it. Uh, and I've, I've seen the Christians do it, and I've seen homosexuals do it, and they just dog each other out, and both of them look wrong. But then the word, of, and the, the sad part about it. Is the word of God has instructions for everyone. Like, like the word of God is telling Christians to show love no matter what. You know what I mean? Our job isn't to send anyone to hell. We don't have the authority to send anyone to hell, tell anyone who's going to hell. But our job is to love people. So what ends up making a lot of people who are in the curse or who are in sin look crazy is that they're actually rejecting love. But then everything, you know, they're actually rejecting the love of God uh, and even when I even when I talk to atheists, they don't realize that that's what they're actually rejecting is love, you know. Uh, because the, and I do know again that Christians have done a very poor job at communicating love to the homosexual community, to even the atheist community or any other religion, you to know. Each other. To each other, yeah, to Let's each other. Real. You know what I mean? So, so I do know that. Christian, but the reason why that happens is because if you, if, if that, that's again, even this was in the Bible. In case you didn't know it. God said this. God said, if my people will humble themselves, turn from seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, that he would heal the land. If the believers, not the sinners, if the believers would do what they're supposed to do, then God would heal the land. So a lot of Christians have taken that and you know, and they kind of ignore that and then focus on oh the sinners, the Muslims and the gays and this and that and the poor people do this. But really, if the people who believed in God really lived and acted like they believed in God, there would be such a tremendous act of love being shown that people wouldn't be able to turn away. But we create these arguments. Yeah, doing, doing more finger pointing than actually going out into right. communities. Right. Like like stuff that, you know, and this is not promotional, but like stuff that the SCP does and other various no, you groups. Because you, you know, know we we'll do for our we'll do for our church, we'll do for our church members. <laughs> we do for them all day, you know, and they got money to give, etc. So forth. What about the people who are still out in the street struggling and don't even know they can even go, you know, to your congregation? Well, they gotta wait. They gotta wait till the third Saturday of the month for the church to go with. Wow. Wow. That's, that's what. That's what. Yeah, we're gonna about do this on the third Saturday. We ain't gonna do it every day. We're not gonna do it every Sunday or you but know. That, that's what. That's where they get their portion at. They get it on when 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 churches get the bands together. They gas them up. They, they give them all, okay, you take this neighborhood, you take <laughs> if this. If they do that. What we're going to do is we're going to pass out flyers and we're going we're gonna to tell people about Jesus and that's what we're going to do. As opposed to just being witness, they like to go witness. And they've made it a thing that is never intended to be. They made okay. it a project when it was supposed to be like a lifestyle. I've, I've, I've right. seen and I've witnessed uh, far too many times how some ministers, or I'll, I'll say the, the head preacher, uh, hold the rest of his ministers back from even ministering. I think that's a huge issue. You know, not even, not even, you know, go ahead and do your thing, having your own Bible Ooh. studies, you know, just get, enable them to do some work, not just follow you around every single Sunday and do your bidding every week. That's a problem. Because these are people who essentially, they're called to this walk, and essentially, they're, God gave them a gift. Uh, churches have such a tight hold because they're scared to like scared. once people. they go out they won't gonna come back, back <laughs> so like you try to like you know like you're choking your congregation instead of giving Don't leave them my church. Yo, what the air <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome it's got real <laughs> like, it's got real 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 but fast like, if you think about it in christ you're supposed to keep growing and growing and promotion comes from god so eventually the congregation become ministers and priests and things like that which require you to go out and not come back because then you start building exactly. up and that's how exactly. you know what i'm saying that's how revival in a nation takes place you gotta get out of the church you, gotta get out. you can't all stay in the church and expect people to come in for the revival it doesn't happen and anymore. i think the ministers who do that too are, hey look man <laughs> i think the ministers doing that um 
they're setting the wrong example and then like I said as a leader it's so key that you set the right example and you show them the things that you're preaching about um, but if, if the ministers never step outside of the church who in the congregation is going to be inspired to do that like right. I'm looking at you as a leader I'm looking at you who is very close to God you're supposed to be living the life doing what God has told us to do but I've never seen you anywhere doing what you do on that pulpit other than the pulpit what's going on and it's like so if you're not confident enough in doing that what like am I ready because I'm, I'm not an ordained minister. I don't have the license. I don't have the white collar. And you're not you even You dare doing. question the right. judge! Right, exactly, you know what I mean? Yeah. Blasphemy! 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 So they need to Call see it, man. All your is required! Right, right. We are all brothers and sisters in Christ. It, right. No, Nobody's ahead of anybody, you know? Yet, yes, you have, and see, this is the thing. When you're enabled, you're gonna be a separate Easily, automatically, naturally. It doesn't mean that you're gonna have an entire congregation. Mm. Being a separate doesn't mean being a pastor. Okay, what you just said is why we don't know our neighbors. What you said is the reason why we don't know, oh, you, you can live in a neighborhood for 20 years and not know, know who your neighbor is. Years, yeah. That's what, that, that, yeah. And, and then we, you know, and it's, it's sad yeah. because the kids actually will get it and that's why they call it their hood or whatever. Right. That's how they become boys. But the adults don't get it. And then we, we, we try to, we, you know, we try to give them these different realities, like, okay, here are your church friends, but then when you have your school friends, and what the, what the kids end up seeing, honestly, is they end up seeing, well, this is the thing, they end up seeing separation and division comes from the church, unity, and the life that they really want comes from their friends and their personal experiences, which include unity and love and friendship in that bond. So this is how you can have kids growing up in a nice neighborhood where there's no gangsters and thugs and all that other stuff, but they still can become dangerous because they be, they be, so the streets is way more loyal than yeah it's not the just first a, donkey on the hill around the street right right way more loyal they get way more loyal they the got they, they got that brotherhood that camaraderie where they'll go because in because they look for love and that's what they're that's where they, that's what the whole thing about gangs oh, right. are there yeah. is this false yeah. sense of love that they have uh and and, it, and it, it even and they should we want them to be able to go to the church and but how can we, they? yeah because we're stuck in two different realities right the church is preaching the way things should be because right. instead dealing, of the way things are still dealing right, with right, sin right. and with the behavior right so if you come in and you tell me all these things are sin I come into your church and I just do whatever you say to do in that moment I just conform to a behavior pattern you put in front of me but I go home and that iniquity has never been dealt with what do I do then 